Alright. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and it's been a while since I've actually touched this game and I'm trying to get back into it, so this should be fun. But also, like I said, I was going to keep a few codes to myself after that pack opening just because I do want to start playing this game again and getting back into it. Uh, mostly used to play this game on free time. I never actually, like, played it on stream. No, I think I played it on stream once. I never actually played it on YouTube for a video. So I actually wanted to do an opening first. Okay, so we got some packs here. A lot of energy. Some sleeves. I'm guessing that's from the, um... Box. That's one of the openings and four of those. Alright, where do we go for this collection? Okay, I found it. So these are all the packs we have we can open. I don't think I can open this one, right? Oh, I thought I could. But apparently I can. Oh, that's a... Uh... Oh, a GX. So what does GX stand for other than EX now? If anybody knows, let me know. I got a Chimchar. Got a Gibble. I don't remember this guy. He was one of those rare Pokemon that you can get from that, like, statue in one of the games. Okay, that's one. How's the holographic in there? Ah, well, it feels bad. I guess we got the holographic, so I guess that counts. <laughs> Alright, time for the four little cards. Oh, we get some good stuff out of here. Another holographic. Oh, that actually looks pretty dope. So. It does not copy the code from, like, the pack you open. So let's say if you were to get a GX in real life, let's say, like, a Rayquaza GX, you wouldn't get it out of this pack. There's a chance of getting it. So all packs are still random for this game and outside of that, because I never got this during my pack opening. Okay, interesting. Means we have a chance to get some new things. Huh. Okay. So if I'm fighting the energy, the psychic energy team, this guy should be really good at first attempt. And I can heal myself too. Oh, well, damn. Okay, I get it. Jeez. Your freaking drum roll. <laughs> okay, so. You may draw cards until you have six in your hand. Okay, that's actually pretty good for restocking. Then you would want to retreat afterwards. Okay, that's not that bad. Let me, let me grab this before they keep drum rolling. Oh, Dark Rye. Oh, it's a tag card. Dark Ride, uh, Umbreon. So this time, we get that in the game and not real life. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'll still deal with my Deoxys and Xbeon. Heal time. Flip your coin if it gets a tail. Oh, flip your coin until you get tail. For each head, draw a card. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. That's another card you can use to restock, but that's only RNG. Okay, look at the top four cards of either player's deck. Put them back in any order. Okay, so I could put them in... Huh, okay, so that'd be interesting. I could put it in, like, a, I guess, a shuffled form, or I could just 
put it back how it is, I'm guessing. I don't know, it'd be like interesting to try that out. A lot of interesting cards here, that's for sure. I'll go back and read them later. And I'll just show you guys all the cards I have right now. I'm pretty sure none of them are like really all that special anyway. Okay. So what do you do? Switch with one of your opponents. Bench Pokemons with their own act. Wait, what? Switch one of your opponent's benched Pokemon with their... Uh, oh, okay, I about to say, hold on a second. That's weird. <laughs> but that's actually really good if you don't want to fight a certain Pokemon. Uh, I was about to say, I'm switching him with somebody else on a bench. That'd be amazing. It's like, you're my, my Pokemon now. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be hilarious. You're my Pokemon now, Pokemon now boy. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that was the summon. So my collection I have right now of cards Since I had started playing the first time was this There's some Articunos in there. I might trade hollow some of my cards to be honest Not not this full full picture one. I, I'm keeping that one. I can give them the hologram now I mean they don't really have too much of a difference. I have quite a decent selection right now. I'm not sure if I have like any real OP ones I could build a deck with, but if me and Hollow ever go against each other, that's gonna be interesting. Just to come up with like these random teams. But it kinda sucks because you do need like one of their evolutions just to evolve them. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty difficult. So I need this um, second stage, but I only have the first and third stage. So that wouldn't be useless to me. I do have combustion, but I don't know if I have scorching. I do want to try this one out when I get the chance. That one actually looks like it can be pretty strong. So most of the time you don't want to make a mixed deck just because energy. You can have energy issues. You can get like a whole bunch of psychic energy and you need like like this right here you have to put grass and electric and another energy or you could just put grass and electric in one deck don't don't just overdo it and just put in like all the elements into your deck because that could actually be very much a hassle i've tried it before <laughs> did i have fun for the fear for the first few seconds i did <laughs> then afterwards then i was like oh wow this is filling me with deep dark despair <laughs> So I do have the start off of that. I wonder if I have a second stage. I know I already have a... Uh, pretty sure I do have the third stage. Okay, I did not know Garchomp could fly. Okay. Uh, Alright, you learn something new every day apparently. <laughs> I used to be that douche who used this a lot and just kill any weak Pokemon you had early game. So I kind of force you to build your um, strongest in the late. That's when the meta was probably different to be honest, but now uh, I would not doubt it. You know, I would love to make a whole like uh, deck just full of Pokemon that just attack your bench just so you can't warm up <laughs> that would be really interesting oh here's my favorite but it's gonna be really difficult to make a team with him yeah this will always have a place in my heart just because I love Ho-Oh Ho-Oh is literally one of my favorite legendaries even though he it, it just hasn't gotten much screen time Ho-Oh is the only legendary I know that gets hoed on so much screen time and yes that was a ho -Oh joke accept it because ho -Oh just gets freaking bent bro <laughs> like it sucks to see it happen but it happens and we all know it happens i do have a break of this 
but I need um, the actual card. And I think I do have them, but I also need their first stage. Oh yeah, I forgot I had Kyogre. Kyogre was actually pretty cool design-wise. But I was more of a Groudon fan. I think a lot of people were more Groudon fan, to be honest. But when it came to like Team Aqua and Team Magma, I had to go with Team Aqua. <laughs> yeah, just just look at all these, man. I played for a while. I definitely did. Just opening packs and stuff. Dude, if I had a whole bunch of packs, I would just literally open them up right now as a, just a complete video. <laughs> but I don't. So, you know, that's what feels bad. Jeez, how, how much do I have? Plusles. Yeah, in this video I just wanted to like show off my account for now. <laughs> just because I have not been in this account for like a long time. So even I'm discovering a whole bunch of stuff that I used to have. <laughs> so you're going down memory lane with me. Pure nostalgia. Oh, I don't think I have any form for you. I wonder if you can sort it by evolution. Probably. Oh, yeah, you can, you can sort it by stages. Nice. That's going to really help, to be honest. I hated this one. I mean, I like the first stage of it, but I hated the second stage. I think the fire one was my favorite. The grass one was a second. I won't lie, I kind of like Slowpoke too, because Slowpoke was like really derpy. <laughs> All right, and oh god, I still have like way more. What kind of a weird deck can I build with all this? I still haven't even finished all the challenger missions. Like the ones where you post it versus AI and get all that, um. and get all those deck cards. Oh wow, I didn't even know I had a Venusaur. Wait. Oh, so heals this Pokemon? Jeez, you're gonna have to one shot this thing. If you don't one shot him, or at least deal a lot of damage, he's just gonna be constantly healing. But he's also going to be dealing a like crap ton of damage to you. But he can also poison... Jesus Christ, Venusaur. Okay. It's... But that could easily be killed, to be honest, with a fire unit that does a lot of damage. So, Just because typing also plays into this game. Which is what I found interesting. Okay, so I don't have the first stage of that. But yeah, I just wanted to show off this stuff to you guys. Okay, I don't need anything else. I just need the base. Oh, well, crap. I can just throw that out. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, that's basically all I wanted to show you guys. It, it looked interesting, to be honest, from everything I had. But now that I know that there's a lot of things I can actually build, just because I do have their evolution, it's going to be interesting. Maybe I, now and then, if this... Uh, if you guys enjoy all this stuff, then I'll probably versus people too. Like versus randos. I don't know about tournaments. I'm not I'm not like that pro or anything like that. People can still steamroll me. That's all you need to know. <laughs> but I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then. Peace out.